Going carnivore in Thailand, day number 35. Today was an interesting day. I had to uh, first have something for breakfast, which I had eggs and shrimp, which is delicious, a roy, as they say in Thailand. And then I had to take the car into the Mazda dealership for its approximately 20,000 kilometer service, which involves an oil change and oil filter, air filter, rotate the tires, and uh, check over all the other stuff under the hood. Cost more than I thought it would cost. It cost about 120 US dollars, which I thought was a little high, but you know, I took it back to a dealer. It's a relatively new car. It has 18,000 some odd kilometers on it. And got there around 1.15 in the afternoon and about 3.45, it was done. Included a free car wash. However, when we left that place, we decided to go check out a new source for food. There's a new store that just opened up called Go Wholesale. And I'm telling you, this Go Horse Horse blah, 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 blah. this Go ho, ho, ho. Go Wholesale. This place is better than Macro ever thought about being. Now, I'm going to show some images I took of it. Well, the first thing we saw was the live seafood department. And look at the size of this crab. I don't think the video does it justice. It was huge. And then they've got all these other kinds of seafood and I don't even know for sure what all this is. That looks like some sort of crabby thing too. But they have so many varieties of live seafood. I mean, you can't get any fresher than that. And then they've got all these other places that you can get seafood on ice. And then, of course, they've got seafood. Look at this salmon. Fresh salmon. Fresh, not frozen. Uh, some of it appears to be, you know, unfrozen. And then Noy picked up some of this tuna here on the right, that red tuna. She got herself a couple tuna steaks. But the amount of seafood they've got here just boggles the mind. And the place is humongous. They've got refrigerators and stoves and all the other stuff. Now, let me tell you why this is tough on a carnivore diet. Every aisle you walk by, other than this live seafood and, and the meat departments, are all full of processed food. High cor corn, fructose, high fructose corn syrup, sugar is this, sugar is that. Uh, this is what's tough. Hello, my name's Mark Hanna. I'm a sugar egg. Hello, my name's Mark Hanna. I'm a carboholic. I mean, this here was, uh, I'm not exactly sure what this was. Some sort of cubes. Uh, pork cubes or whatever. But I thought they were interesting when I took the picture. Perhaps I'll flip the picture around where I can read it. But this place is just, you know, if you want it, they they have it. 
lots of, of pork cuts and we bought chicken tenderloins, uh, not frozen. They looked fresh. Just uh, lots of chicken tenderloins. You could get chicken breasts. You could get whatever you want. But the hard part is, being a carboholic, when you look straight across that fish, all you see are carbs to eat. Now, this place is on Sukhumvik. It's just south of the Home Pro on Sukhumvik, up on the north side of Patia, called Go Wholesale. And, I mean, if you like seafood, and Noi loves seafood, she just, she just went nuts looking at this. And by the way, that crab, that crab was 4000 baht, $100 per kilo. And that was a big-ass crab. I don't think I could afford to even buy that crab. I mean, let me tell you, it don't do it justice. The thing, if you spread the, the crab legs out on that thing, it had to be two and a half, three feet wide. I mean, it was big. Never give up, folks. Never give up. That's all, folks.